Meantime, concern over Trank, a fentanyl hybrid that the spotlight first warned you about back in February, has now reached all the way to the White House. Trank is the street name for fentanyl laced with the animal tranquilizer xylazine. And the concoction has been causing so many overdoses, the Biden administration has officially designated Trank as an emerging threat. The latest data available from the DEA shows there's been a more than 1,000% increase in xylazine positive overdose deaths in the south region of the U.S. and a 750% increase here in the west region. Triple digit increases also reported in the Midwest and the Northeast. Locally, xylazine has been confirmed in overdose deaths in Snohomish and Key County, at least 12 that we know of. But those most familiar with Trank fear the body count will only climb higher. He didn't have a flesh eating disorder, he didn't have an abscess, and he doesn't know how his finger went missing. And to me, that is just strange. He said it was just miraculously gone. A narcotic nightmare. One young lady was telling me about it, and uh, she was saying that she used it and then was out and didn't remember anything. Moving like a chameleon through an already dangerous drug supply. And that scared her enough to want to go to detox. As if fentanyl wasn't deadly enough, suppliers are mixing in a new ingredient and creating a new drug crisis from the East Coast to Puget Sound. It goes by many names. Fetty powder, trank, trank dope is the big one. They seem, everyone seems to kind of know what trank dope is. Rochelle Long is a mental health professional embedded with the Marysville Police Department. Just this month, she put out a warning to colleagues and clinics to brace themselves for the full-on arrival of trank. Trank is short for tranquilizer. In this case, xylazine. It's strong enough for big animals like horses. When it's mixed with fentanyl, it gives users a brand new kind of high. So, like they start dancing and they, they seem kind of happy and they're just having fun to an immediate like zombie like trance, like staring through you as if like a horror film. What it does to the human body is so terrible it looks like a film effect. But in cities on the East Coast, where Trank first spread, it's all too real. See how, how it's hard? It's called necrotic. The tissue underneath is dead. So right here where you see this green stuff coming out, that's because you have pus. It's infected. Sarah Laurel is the founder of the Savage Sisters Outreach Program in Philadelphia. She says Trank is everywhere now. So it took us about two years for it to dominate and take over our supply. Whereas in Boston, for instance, it was almost non-existent in July and August, and it is now in 70% of their supply. Sarah and her team are treating Trank addicts every day. You want to grab Sarah for me? We have somebody coming right now to transfer to the hospital. Is that okay? Doing their best with bandages, compassion, and Narcan. But while it still remedies fentanyl overdoses, Narcan doesn't block the ill effects of xylazine in the body. It's pretty terrifying, largely because we don't know much about it and we don't have a reversal drug for it. Um, we have to begin testing why it is causing these wounds at, within humans. For people like Melanie Bettis, the euphoria Trank produced almost seemed worth it. She recovered from her trank addiction after almost losing her arm. Oh, I had never heard the term xylazine. I didn't know what was happening to me. Um, and I would go to urgent care and stuff like that. And they would, you know, give me an antibiotic or tell me I had MRSA. Um, so it was definitely scary. But then you hit a point where it just becomes normal. And it's just another part of getting high. Because no state is widely testing for trank. Fentanyl users are at risk of getting hooked without even knowing they're taking it. That lack of awareness here is what scares Mike Kersey with Courage to Change, an addiction recovery service in Everett, who started to see the results firsthand. Well, I'd heard about it, but only from a couple of addicts. One of them I got into detox and said that they'd been using the Fetty powder, and it was so much stronger than the Perk 30 or the fake Perk pills, the blues that you heard so much about. For now, it's a race against time, with Kersey trying to reach users and get them help before Trank gets to them first. People like Nick Mackey, who just completed a 28-day treatment program. It feels good. It feels really good. I could never imagine, like, they were, they, um, you know, I could, I've done this for myself. Nick is on his way to transitional housing, where he plans to hang up his certificate of completion and hang on to his sobriety. Taking that first step and, and cleaning yourself up is, is the best thing you can ever do. And, and you can live life. This is a good life to live.
Nick has never tried Trank, but he knows enough about fentanyl to understand that anything that makes it more powerful will make it more deadly. I, I couldn't imagine. That wouldn't be a very good combination. That, I mean, the by itself is going to, it's taken a lot of people out. You mix it with that, it's going to be completely overpowering. I'm worried about it. Mm -hmm.